You know, everybody's afraid of everything these days. It's ridiculous. Today, I'll talk about 10 things that we're not afraid of and you shouldn't be either. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another general interest vlog here. And this is about society uh, overall. And uh, we're, we're talking about how, and I see this in my family as well, people are afraid of everything these days. Everything is like some big drama and f scary uh, situation. Everybody's like, like cowering. It's, it's ridiculous. And I'm going to rattle off 10 things that we're not afraid of and I, that I don't think you should be either. And this is in no particular order. There's no countdown. There's no anything else. But the first thing I want to talk about is plastic. You know, as I drink out of my recycled or repurposed uh, Starbucks cup, I'm drinking in a plastic straw. I'm drinking some uh, spiked seltzer. Corona spiked seltzer. Pretty good. Still like Smirnoff better. It's cheaper too. But anyway, I'm not worried about it. Everybody's on it. BPA free, BPOA, and all these toxins and it, it, it molecules. I, I don't understand. And then now they're even going after plastic bags as well. Plastic seems to be like uh, like the scapegoat for something or, or the redirection of money because uh, they're worried about the environment and one plastic bag gets stuck in the tree now the whole world is, is, has to schlep their own stupid bags around reducing the overall output of the planet like, like 50% because everybody has to start schlepping things. It's ridiculous. Plastic bags were great. Anyway, we're not worried about plastic. And another thing that I hear a lot are people talking about toxins. You know, there's toxins everywhere. Oh, I can't have toxins in my food, toxins on my skin, toxins in the air. They're always talking about toxins, but yet, you know, the lifespan is like the longest ever. And it's not like these people that are 90 something years old today um, are, were worried about toxins back then uh, when they were younger. I think in the, in the end, they're, they're mostly harmless. Yeah, sure, maybe like one, if you take a 10,000 times the amount of these toxins, it could have some uh, impact on you, but there's a million ways to die, and I don't think toxins are gonna be one of them for anybody. Unless you work in the toxin factory and you inhale it and forget to wear your mask while making this stupid crap for the, your whole career, then you might get a little bit of an issue with toxins. But damn, toxins, I, I hate it. It's like a scary word. And the next thing, and by the way, this is all off the cuff. I have a, one word here, and I'm just uh, going off, off the top of my head. But another thing that people are afraid of these days are bad guys. Uh, uh, mostly what you see in the news are like terrorists and all sorts of like uh, uh, tyrannical leaders of foreign countries that are like... 8,000 miles away from us and there's all these bad guys. Everybody's afraid of the bad guy. They need a bad guy. I'm not afraid of them anyway, you know? They're not here in our neighborhood. There's nothing to be afraid of. And even like, I mean, I guess I would be afraid of just like uh, the psycho police chief or something that's out to get people and they have tools that uh, normal people don't have. But I'm not afraid of uh, bad guys. Uh, there's, nobody's hurting us and if somebody hurts us, they have to deal with me, that's it. Um, and here, here's one of my most important ones. I should have put this uh, in a countdown and done number one, but the planet. You know, I, I could put up the George Carlin, oh, the planet. We're all scared of the planet, but the planet always wins. You're just little people on my little service. I'll, I'll brush you off like little uh, fleas on a dog. Well, anyway. And everybody's worried about the environment as well. Pollution, oil. Uh, we can't, we have to have electric cars and, and it, I don't know how people became environmentalists and pl pro planet type people. Like they, they don't do they not realize they're useful idiots. No, everything is fine. The planet will heal itself. And also another thing that I've noticed uh, in the past few years is how now every weather event is now some sort of scary warning. Oh, the, there's an advisory. There's, there's a high wind warning. Even snow squall warnings come across my phone. Thank God I turned them off, by the way. All warnings, except the only thing I can't turn off are the presidential alerts. But uh, I don't need to know about a snow squall. I can tell if something's happening or if a tornado is coming. You, you have a general idea of the weather and, and you know, you're, you're good to go. There's nothing that bad. Unless you live near a uh, 
the shore and a hurricane is coming or there's some like a, a 20 inch rainfall expected and you've had a lot of rain in the last six weeks or so, then you might be a little concerned and you, but smart people prepare for that. But it's the lexicon that's changed. They use all these like fear inducing phrases, which are very frustrating. I'm not happy about it. And the next thing I'm not afraid of is scams, like scams to get the elderly, scams to take advantage of you, scams to steal your social security number. Any smart person knows so easily to see, spot a scam from a million miles away um, because everybody's smart these days. Or maybe not. I don't know. I, I think a lot of people do get duped. But, uh, you know, educate yourself. Figure out how not to, to do anything without at least researching it ahead of time before you pull the trigger and give somebody your financial information. And another one that should be also near the top of the list is pandemics and diseases. Cancer being one of them uh, and all these viruses that are going around and, and they, they couldn't scare people enough with the flu. You know, you had the swine flu, avian flu, Zika flu, bird flu, all these flus that, you know, the flu migrate, uh, metamorphosizes every year. There's 10 or 20 or 30 different strains of the flu. They beg you to get a flu shot and that flu shot is not going to be good against uh, like 80% of the flu strains that are out there. It's ridiculous. We have so many people on the planet. We're not going to run into any problems unless you're sickly and weak, which uh, hopefully you're not. And Anyway, another thing I'm not afraid of is war. All these fears of war. I remember back in the day, it was, a, it was the Cold War, it was the Russia War, nuclear war, all this stuff. Um, as long as it doesn't happen here, I don't think there's any kind of problem. We have a really good military. I, I wouldn't be worried about war. Um, and here's another thing that a lot of people are afraid of these days. It's having different ideas or speaking off color, telling a, like a crude joke. Um, we used to tell jokes about races, handicapped people, uh, fat people. We used to tell jokes and it was funny and you moved on with your life. You treated each person as an individual. Now every day, everybody today is, I see them sugarcoating everything and tiptoeing around all their subjects. It's really, truly annoying. You know, don't, don't sacrifice your individuality and your personality because you have a different idea. If people don't like it, then you've just pretty much, you can, you can scratch them off your list of people or, uh, you know, being your friend, or you can maybe try to help them in some other way. And last but not least here, the things that we're not afraid of, it's the whole smoking industry, whether it's, whether you're a casual smoker or, with, or around secondhand smoke, it's, it's utter, utterly ridiculous. Smoking, it's been shown, if you look at real studies, that it has a very slim impact on, on your life. Um, unless you're already like ridiculously unhealthy, you drink too much, you're overweight, and you smoke, then your lifespan's already shortened to begin with because of all the other crap you're doing. Smoking may accelerate that, sure, but not smoking and being a completely unhealthy, ridiculous person isn't going to give you a hundred year lifespan either. Just remember, most of the fears that are out there are orchestrated for someone else's benefit. And that's a, that's a shame because fear is one of the most uh, uh, profitable motivators out there. Just read any uh, good uh, propaganda book or, or marketing book and you'll see that. But we're going to talk next about five things that we might be a little worried about. There are five things that, you know, just so I don't sound like I'm overconfident or snobbish or anything like that, but there's a few things that we were that are on our radar. Number one, it's it's uh, alcohol consumption. I think long-term alcohol consumption is something that needs to be addressed. It's a real problem. I don't think even just someone who has a couple drinks a day like us uh, can just you know smooth skate uh, skate smoothly through life without being concerned about the problems it has on your liver, pancreas, gallbladder, and other parts of your body. So we're going to, we're working on it. We're working. We've already cut back down to like 60 or, or, you know, 40 or 30 or 40% of the time we're drinking, which sounds like a lot, but it's a lot less than it used to be. And another thing that concern us are the, the amount of sugar and carbohydrates and things that are uh, eaten by a majority of the people. Now, we're not worried for us per se, but we're worried about our family and our children. And I'm trying my best to be, uh, I'm, I'm against the grain and it's hard to uh, sell, sell this to someone who doesn't get it on their own. But I'm concerned for my family in that respect because I'm, I'm, the, out, I'm the outlier. 
Uh, they, they don't believe me. And another thing that I'm concerned with as I watch everybody else get dumbed down and, and get forced into corners of ideological beliefs and politics and so on, it's, it's the number of people that I'm meeting these days that don't have critical thinking skills. They just believe everything they read um, word for word and, and no one really has the skills anymore to think um, and have an open-minded viewpoint on the world. And as more and more people fall into this category, you're going to find it very hard to, to, diff uh, to navigate the world. Uh, just ordinary conversations or transactions with people. I think people are truly becoming dumber, just like that Idiocracy movie. And it's a shame. Um, another thing that might concern us is the, the overreaching uh, government and the surveillance state and how technology has really started to make make smart people concerned about you know like you soon you won't be able to say anything that's why we don't bring those listening devices into our homes and we don't have our phone with us and if it is it's all shut off and we have special security things i can't prove that they work perfectly or not but it's the or that's very very scary like it's happening in china you can look at the social credit scores and stuff like that that's something i don't know how soon in our lifetime that'll happen but we're, we're concerned about that and lastly, one of my main fears is being stuck somewhere, either a large uh, environment with limited escape routes, it's, it's out of control mobs and, and people that are, or maybe some sudden flash mob of psychopaths comes in our path. And that's, uh, those are situations where you have to think quickly and act decisively. And if you're an open, a concealed carry person, you got to know how to use your weapon and also always know where your emergency exits are and how to get out of a situation to bring yourself and your family to safety. Because there's no logic happening, there's no reasoning. If there's a, a mob of a, thousands of people, you that's a very dangerous situation to be in and there's not much you can do unless you're prepared and you plan ahead. So those are things that I, I get scared of, but I avoid them. You, you can avoid them very easily by not putting yourself in those situations, but that's it. Um, I guess my final tip is to avoid all the mainstream media. And if you do watch it, make sure you have counter, uh, counterpoints to them and have friends that have differing opinions from you as well so, and, and that you're able to have a decent conversation with without just, you know, pouting that, you, that someone doesn't agree with you. Um, we only scan everything just to see what's going on in this world. So that's it. If you liked the video, hit, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.